Hey everyone, today we're going to learn how to um, take a screenshot of a website or a web page and mark it up using uh, adding images in Microsoft Word. So here I am on a web page that I'd like to mark up. It's just one of the pages on the Adult Ed website. And in order to mark it up, I need to take a screenshot of this page. And so I'll do that on Windows using a tool called the Snipping Tool. So I find that under the Start menu, I can just start typing Snip, and the Snipping Tool comes up. And the Snipping Tool is basically just a little window that floats over on top of your screen. When you want to make a new screenshot or capture an image of what's on the screen, you click the New button, and um, there are some options to pick from. Usually I have it set to a rectangular snip, so I draw a rectangle around what I want to um, take a picture of. You can have it snip the current uh, window or snip the full screen, but I'm just going to keep it on rectangular because that's what I use. Once you choose new, it grays out the whole screen so you know that it's in screenshot mode and the mouse becomes a crosshair. So you'll just go up to the upper left hand corner of whatever you want to take a picture of. So I'll start with um, maybe just this part of the page here. So I'll start from this area here. Click and hold the mouse button down and drag all the way down as far as you want to go. When you let go, you're in the snipping tool still and it shows you an image of what you just captured. I'm going to take this image now and I'm going to copy it and paste it into a blank Microsoft Word document. So I'm going to click the button up here, the one that looks like two pieces of paper side by side, that's the copy button. When I click that, it places a copy of uh, the image in the clipboard, waiting for me to paste it somewhere else. Now I need to open Microsoft Word. So I'll go to my Start menu, grab Microsoft Word, and it, usually your Microsoft Word documents are set to a portrait orientation, but for screenshots they tend to be a little bit wider, so I'm going to go to Page Layout, change the orientation to Landscape, so it gives me a little bit more room, and then I'll go back to the Home tab and click the Paste button, and it will play, paste that image of that website into the Microsoft Word document. Now it's a little small, it doesn't go all the way across, so I'll just stretch this image a little bit. I'm not too worried about quality, I just want to be able to see it so I can indicate where I might want to make changes to this web page. So I'll click and drag the lower right hand corner handle and just drag it down a little bit and to make my image show up basically full screen. Watching, I'll have to bring it in a little bit because I have to watch my margins. If I ever printed it, it would be a problem, but I'm not planning on printing it. And I'll zoom in a little bit here to make it easier to see. Now comes the markup part. I need to uh, mark up using the, um, the shape tools in Microsoft Word to say where I want maybe some corrections to be. So I might want to circle some things, I might want to point arrows at part of the image, and I might want to add some text explanation. So I do that mainly under the Insert tab. So I'm going to insert some shapes. We'll start by circling something. So I'll go to under the Insert tab and choose Shapes, and there's a whole bunch of different shapes to choose from. I'm just going to choose your basic circle or oval. It also turns the cursor into a crosshair, and I can find the section of the page that I want to um, circle. So, I don't know, let's see, we'll circle this part up here. It's a GED curriculum. I'll draw a circle around it. Now what it does is it puts a solid circle on there. Um, and it chooses a color. So um, you can, from the uh, shape styles, you can pick any color you want. So you can pick red, green, whatever you'd like. And then for the shape fill, you want to choose it to no fill so the center of the circle becomes transparent and you can see the text behind it. I'll zoom in a little bit more so that's a little bit easier to see. There we go. Um, but maybe I want um, an arrow pointing at something else. So I'll go back to the Insert tab, I could pick another shape, and here's an arrow here, and then you can just click and drag in the direction of what you want to point at, and it automatically puts the arrowhead on there for you. Um, under Shape Styles, you can make it a little bit thicker, easier to see, and this button here lets you see more shape styles, so I could pick a thick red one, make it really obvious what I'm pointing to. Um, and any of these shapes, and you click on them, they have handles, so you can resize them if you need to make them bigger or smaller. Um, and if you click in the middle of them, you can move them around to a different location. So, and then you 
can adjust the size by grabbing the handles. Let's add a text box so we can add some uh, uh, detailed text in here. So again, we'll go back to the Insert tab, and way over here we have Text Box. And there's a whole bunch of different text box options, but I just choose the simple text box. And it gives you a text box here. Um, you can click and drag on the edge, not on a handle, but on just the edge of the text box, and that will let you move it around. Under Shape Styles, you can also pick different colors, so to make it kind of stand out. And then when you click on the text, it highlights the sample text, and you can type in whatever text you want. And then if multiple people are going to be um, making suggestions, you might want to have people sign their name to each text box. Um, everybody pick a color. So if I'm red, maybe someone else would want to make their mark up in purple or green um, to kind of distinguish who is uh, making the markups on each one. Now you don't have to be limited to just one screenshot. You can put multiple um, screenshots in the same Word document. I'm going to zoom back out again. So I can click on the end, like kind of in the margin on the right side, and I get my insertion point, the blinking line, so I can hit enter a few times, and I'll probably want to bump it onto another page. Then I can go back to my web browser, and I can repeat the process. So I could pick a different page. I can grab the snipping tool, which is already open, so I can just grab it from the taskbar. Click New to get a new snip, and then I can grab a new grab a part of it portion of the web page, click the copy button, go back to Microsoft Word, my insertion points on that second page so I just have to click paste and then I can use my insert shapes to insert whatever I want, some arrows, maybe I'll be a different color, I'll be purple, um, I could insert a shape, I could grab a circle, circle some part, making sure to make the shape fill no fill so that you can see underneath it. Oh, let me make this purple. If you change the color, you do have to do that shape fill, set it to no fill again. And then insert a text box, a simple one, and move it around. If you lose your um, your choices for shape styles, you can just click the drawing tools again and they'll come back up and then type your text. And that's basically it. This Word document can be saved, it can be emailed around so that other people can make changes, um, and then hopefully you end up with a document that has all of the suggestions and changes that you want. Uh, and that's how you mark up screenshots of web pages using Microsoft Word.